We're glad you're with us today. I'm Claire Huddleston. This is now at 11. We are continuing to follow the Carly Russell case after she returned home Saturday night. Now there's still a lot of questions about what happened to her between the time she went missing and the time she came home. Our Jillian Brooks joins us live from Hoover with the latest on this case. Jillian. Claire, we reached out to Hoover PD this morning to get an update on where Carly was and what happened to her, and we're still waiting to hear back. Now, Carly's friends and family have posted on social media thanking friends and family for their help during the search and Carly's return home. Now, right now, they are asking for privacy to spend time with her after a scary 48 hours. Now, according to the Hoover Police Department, Carly walked up to her family's front door Saturday night around 1045 and was then taken to UAB to be evaluated. She was released the next morning. The case began Thursday night when Carly called 911 after seeing a child on the side of the interstate and got out of her vehicle to check on that child. That's when a family member says they heard her scream before losing contact. When officers arrived, they found some of her items on the side of the interstate. Volunteers, volunteers searched the area high and low until her arrival Sunday night. Carly did give a statement to the detectives on the case, and that statement is a part of an ongoing investigation. Hoover PD says the main thing right now is that she was safe. When, when we think, uh, talking with, uh, with her parents, when we think it's time to... Uh, be able to uh, sit down and, and, and have a conversation with Carly and, and try to get uh, some facts, uh, we'll do that. So, uh, you know, I don't want to really say a, a time frame. Uh, again, the, the main, uh, main thing right now is, uh, is her to make sure that she's okay. Now, this is a developing story, and we are working to get those answers to those ongoing questions, and we will update you as soon as those updates arrive into our newsroom. In Hoover, I'm Jillian Brooks, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.